What's up, you guys? Jimmy here with a new review for Horrorama. And today I'm going to be reviewing Pixar's first television special called Toy of Horror. And in this special, the toys are back, and they are on a road trip with uh, their current owner and her mother. And events occur that lead them to this roadside motel, which they have to stay the night in. Just like you see in a lot of horror movies. And um, the toy goes missing, so uh, they're pretty much having to figure out what's going on before they all suffer the same fate of that toy. Um, when I first heard about it, I was interested in watching it because I really did enjoy Toy Story 3, even though it took nearly 10 years to come out, if not 10 years itself. But uh, I have to say, uh, the opening scene was kind of cool because uh, you're seeing like an old Dracula type, so I thought that was cool because in my early childhood, I watched I watched some of that early of horror films, and even ones in the eighties. Uh, you know, even the story was really good. It it was really well done. You know, even though this wasn't a movie, as a special, it was a really good story. And even having the same voice cast returning, so that makes this that much more special. And uh, kind of revisiting a, just a little bit of Jesse's past, how she was a she was abandoned, put in a box, so she's claustrophobic. It brings up that she is claustrophobic. But uh, yeah, they did show some different toys than what we've seen in the past of the this franchise. You saw one that was kind of like a GI Joe-ish figure. Uh, you saw one that was like a Transformer, so it's freaking kind of shown two of the biggest toy brands, or toy series. But, yeah, I thought that was cool. They even had a Pets Dispenser. I, I, I really don't know how that uh, counts as a toy. I, I don't understand. That's like if I said, hey, this ring is a toy. It can talk when I'm not around. But all in all, this was really cool. I would actually like to see Pixar do more of this. I mean, seriously, it'd be an interesting way. Besides doing all these shorts, which, you know, I don't really watch them. I hear about them, but I never actually watch them. Yeah, One I would like to see... I mean, it's kind of unlikely because of how long it's been since this movie came out. Would be a Bugs Life television special. It's just, that was one of the big Pixar films in my childhood. That's why I, that's why I would choose that. But it'd be nice to see some others, like maybe Monster Inc., Monster Seek would have actually made more sense doing that as a Halloween special, I'd have to say. But uh, that's pretty much it for my review. Uh, let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on Pixar's very first special. And also, what Pixar film would you like to see in television special? Like, would it be something like Ma what I was saying, or something different. Just let me know in the comment section, and also you can check out more more videos on Horrorama, and also new some reviews on movies, video games, comic books, and more. You could go to bkpn.net and celebrate your horror and nerdum in a big way. I'm Jimmy. Until next time, bye.